goody. Happy Friday morning to you. The Take 5 Art Challenge is out and it's like Yahoo! <laughs> I always look forward to Take 5 every single month and this month the prompts are bird, color, blush, uh, pattern or print, and I chose text for my pattern or print. Uh, the color gold, which I chose some gold leaf that I had lying about. A pencil color or lead. So let me show you what I have so far. I've taken a piece of my 1879 ledger paper and I've traced around a, uh, a bird pattern. Uh, I think Miss Donna gave this to me, but I thought that it would be really nice to just use a pattern to make my birds. I am not a drawer. I so admire people who are, but that, I, 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 I didn't get that chip. I was standing behind the door when that blessing was passed out. So I, uh, I just traced a couple of birds here. And I am making greeting cards. I, uh, I, we have two important birthdays this month, so uh, I'm, I'm going to be making a couple of greeting cards as my Take 5 Challenge. Uh, the greeting cards are for guys. Uh, one's for my son, one's for my brother. So the blush color of the challenge I did not quite stick with. Instead, I chose a salmon color. Uh, and I chose this quote from Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre, I am no bird and no net ensnares me. I am a free human being with an independent will. I thought that that fit really well with the challenge of the, with the bird challenge of this uh, part of this take five. So I, um, I'm also, you guys know that I am, you know, all I do is recycle, so uh, I'm using, I'm using a couple of cards that I cut from my latest desk pad, and they're, these are really thick, nice cards, and I thought that they would make a nice surface for me to work on. Hold on just a minute, let me get you a little bit closer. I am still experimenting with my a uh, flexible cell phone holder thing, which is <laughs> my only option right now, um, is to to use this. You know, I hope to update some equipment sometime soon, and we'll have that discussion later on. But I've got my birds cut out. The next thing that I really wanted to do was to take a small stamp pad and uh, just go around the edges of these birds. But I'm going to do that as uh, my text, my tissue text dries on the cards. I, um, I, I love this, this paper, you guys. I think it's Seven Gypsies. I, I can't exactly remember, but I sure do love it. And of course I am using, let me get my handy dandy art rag out here. I'm using my Big Daddy brush that my daddy gave to me can see that it is really getting chunky and cool now. <laughs> uh, so let's just put a little bit of Mod Podge on here and at least get this first layer down. I, um, I know that my stars are kind of going to disappear under the text, but you know, I feel like that's okay. I like layers, so um, even if it kind of disappears, well, see the stars are kind of showing through. Isn't that a nice surprise? Art's just full of nice surprises. The quote that I'm using from Jane Eyre, um, I, I think I told a lot of you, but I can't remember if I told everybody. I uh, spent the last week house-sitting for my sister in Atlanta while she and her husband went to the Holy Land. Um, incredible trip. They brought back um, I have artifacts. <laughs> they brought back all kinds of brochures and all kinds of wonderful things. Um, so I am, I am very excited about sharing, sharing those kinds of things with you guys. I got to spend time with my Russian niece. And I call her my Russian niece because that's what she is. Uh, 14 years ago, my sister and my brother-in-law adopted her from Russia. Uh, she was a Russian orphan. She was eight years old, 
and she weighed 80 pounds when she came here. Uh, she was in um, not good physical shape. Um, but when she came here in 2004, I was working in Atlanta. I was a tour manager for a band down there. So I was living at my sister's house, and um, Arena became like my child. And let me tell you what happened here. They returned home on, I think it was November the 15th, uh, from Russia, from adopting, adopting her. And my sister had chipped a tooth on a chicken wing <laughs> in Russia. And so she immediately, uh, the next morning after they returned, she immediately had to go to the dentist and get her dental issues taken care of because she did not want to do that in Russia. Um, when she was at the dentist, you guys, she was, you know, they put Novocaine in her, on, in, into her gum, you know, to numb her. She had a reaction. She went into anaphylactic shock and had to be taken to the hospital. So here I am in the house with this Russian orphan, you know, and I'm like, I don't speak any Russian. My brother-in-law did. My brother-in-law, of course, is at the hospital with his wife, where he should be. And Arena and I are like, you know, we don't really know each other. Now, she had come here uh, to visit with my sister and my brother-in-law, uh, you know, over the summer. So my sister and my brother, she knew everybody. She did not know me. And I did not know her. <laughs> but we just bonded and I can't really describe it. it it was um to me when things like that happen they're kind of mystical and magical um she that's why I say she became like my daughter she became like a child to me uh we played we talked as best we could uh, my sister was in the hospital for three days, so, you know, I was kind of uh, trying to manage this new little Russian orphan as well as manage my older niece, you know, get her to basketball practice and things like that on time and, and all of this stuff. And it was just like, oh, it, it was a new experience. So she is very precious to me. I got to spend so much time with her last week, and it was a lot of fun. Um, but I always, you know, I think of her as this free human with an independent will. And what a beautiful thing that is to watch develop. Um, she is an extraordinary young woman. She's 21 now. Um, is that right? Yeah, she's almost, almost 22. Um, and getting married next year to a wonderful, wonderful guy. So she is very excited about that. And, I, you know, I realize she's kind of young to get married, but um, it's, it's very precious and very sweet. He thinks he is the luckiest person in the whole wide world, and she thinks she is the luckiest person in the whole wide world. It's very sweet, you guys. You know, I'm 60 now, and, and I have to, you know, I'm... I don't want to say I'm jaded about love, but there's just something so sweet and precious about young love. It's just, I can't even describe it. But anyway, uh, so the quote, you know, kind of reminded me of her and the trials that she's been through, which, you know, as her language skills developed, she could tell us just these horrific stories uh, about her foster families and, you know, how there was one time that uh, she was adopted by a foster family and they just left her in a barn and she had to eat paper in order to survive. You know, I think at the orphanage they got one, one bath a week and they had to walk, I think, three miles to get, you know, to just get cleaned up. Um, she likes to be clean, <laughs> of course, now. Um, 
but it was just a, it was just a sweet experience to be able to spend time with her. And and when I uh, when I saw this challenge, it was like, oh, I kind of you know I know what I'm going to do. I am going to make one of these cards for her for her wedding. But these two cards, uh, one's for my brother, one's for my son, who both have birthdays in November, which is kind of why I did not use that pinky blush color on these things. So I have put down my gold leaf, which is one of my favorite things to work with, and we are sticking on the 1879 Ledger Page Birdie right here. Let's put him on that, that pretty gold background. I remember trying to figure out what my niece wanted to eat. And she loved eggs, but I was not doing it the right way. So we stood at the stove one day, and I made egg after egg after egg. And, you know, after I would make the egg, I would go, omelet. And she would go, nah, nah. <laughs> that wasn't it. That wasn't the kind of egg she liked. Um, and I would make like a, you know, um, a scrambled egg. And it's like, nah, that was not the kind of egg she wanted. And finally, 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 after, uh, you know, the dog having a nice, uh, a nice egg breakfast there, uh, we hit on the sunny up, sunny side up. And I said, sunny side up. And she went, sunny up. Yes, sunny up. <laughs> so, you know, it's those things that you just don't forget. And now she's going to be married and, you know, wants to have children. She's a cosmetologist. Um, just, she's very sweet. I was very fortunate to be able to spend, spend time with her last week, and she is the most precious child. Um, of course, my other niece is Austin Dawson. She is, um, she's a remarkable person. Hey there, friends. I'm sorry about that. I was totally cut off in the middle of that video. Well, it wasn't in the middle of the video. We were almost done anyway, but I did want to show you the final product here for the Take 5 Art Challenge for November. Uh, Bird, the color blush, which I did use just a salmon color because it kind of worked better with the palette that I was working with. Uh, pattern was the text paper that we had going on down here. Gold was this gold leaf that I, I really enjoy working with gold leaf. Uh, pencil color or lead, the color was the salmon color that I used to highlight the um, Charlotte Bronte quote up here. Um, so thank you guys for staying tuned to the Take 5 Art Challenge. I hope that you enjoyed my little take on this. I encourage you to look at all of the stellar artwork that these ladies in the Take 5 group are doing. I will put a link below so you can check all of them out. Thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful Friday.